So when I started learning to fly, that kept, they kept going on and on about how important it was to use a checklist. That if a checklist wasn't in the plane, you don't fly it. And I'm thinking, are they really that important? Well, the thousands of guys who still land with their gear up might say, uh, yeah, maybe. I had a partner once who landed our plane gear up twice. He owns it now. You know, video is just as important. It can bring you thousands of new potential clients every month, and you don't want yours going out and getting beaten up on YouTube, which has happened to me when I didn't use a checklist. For real, we use a checklist in the first place because we all have blind spots. So it begs the question, what are the blind spots in making video, and how do you avoid them? That's what we'll look at today on The Visible Authority. You know how in newer cars, the blind spot feature blinks in the side view mirror when another driver pulls up close? You wouldn't think of making a lane change right then. Well, in working with hundreds of entrepreneurs over the years, I found that there are <clears throat> certain blind spots when it comes to making their videos. And if we aren't aware of them, they just bite us over and over again. Mostly, they're in composition, lighting, audio, and background. Many have all four. And if using green screen, the dreaded green fringe. But that's a topic for another day. Today, we take the blind spot gang out of your life for good. Number one, the leader of the gang is composition. Nine times out of 10, I see people too far down in the frame, even when they know better. That's why most cameras uh, have a setting in the viewfinder that superimposes a tic-tac-toe board. For a standard somewhere around the waist up shot, your eyes should be on the top line. But most people place themselves smack in the middle of the frame. It's uncomfortable to watch and the viewer tends to lose confidence in the speaker. There's just something off about it and it takes them out. Now, if you've already shot it, if it's in 4K, you can usually blow up the shot and reposition it. Number two is the lean and hungry lighting. And here, I mean shooting with available light. Our eyes are amazing at compensating for poor lighting conditions. The camera, horrible at it. Our eyes have a dynamic range of 20 stops. The latest iPhone is around nine. We can see up to a thousand frames per second. We're lucky if our cameras can do 60. But no one thinks about that when they're making a video. The point is, video isn't just like real life. All of a sudden, those ugly shadows we didn't notice make their public debut, and everyone gets to enjoy the damage it does to your poor little face. Now, most everyone can afford one of these. You just place it a couple of feet away and see how the shadows suddenly even out, leaving you looking more like you do in real life to a real set of eyes. Next is ugly audio. Sometimes you end up with the audio coming out of only one channel. More often, what I see is that people are wearing a lavalier mic, but I hear the sound being picked up by the camera six feet away. Now, how do you fix this? Well, the first thing is to have a set of headphones permanently attached to your camera sure, sure, sure. so you can hear what the camera's hearing before you start shooting. And if it somehow escapes your attention there, if you've managed to record only one channel, you can always double it in post. Not so much with the switcheroo on the mics. Finally, there's the sneaky little background. If it's not green screen, the most common problems are that it's either too messy, which on video means one piece of paper out of place, or the background itself isn't supportive of the topic, like shooting a video about estate planning at the zoo, never mentioning the fact that elephants don't write wills. In other words, letting the background give context to your message. If using green screen, the most common problems are that the background is either too clear or too out of focus for the size of the shot, or that the background scene doesn't support the topic. 
If you're unsure about this and you're standing in one place like this, the safest choice is probably to find a still background where there's nothing that suggests motion behind you, like uh, wind that should be going through the leaves on the trees outside. If you can pay attention to these simple things, your videos will get more of the attention you want and less like a kid getting beaten up for his lunch money. Right now, I've got a video on YouTube with a problem that got baked in from a blind spot, but it's changed the lives of thousands of people, so I don't really want to take it down. And the criticism has nothing to do with the topic, but the criticism is fair. It can happen when you're in such a hurry because you'll suffer for it. You break it, you own it, like the plane. And it can happen to anyone. So, use a checklist. Save a life. Now, checklists are specific to your camera and setup, but they all have the same basic items. You can get yours for free right now at Visible Authority. We help people develop awesome production systems, and this checklist will help you develop yours. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Visible Authority.